This scripture came to my mind today. So let's go to James chapter 4, verse 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. So what does grace mean? Let's look it up. The free and unmerited favor of God. So God's favor. As manifested in the salvation of sinners. And the bestowal of blessings. So the main part you should look at. The free and unmerited favor of God. Okay. Let's look up the word proud. Having or showing a high or excessively high opinion of oneself or one's importance. So you are believing that you are more than what you truly are. You see yourself as this goddess or this queen or this whatever when so your thoughts of yourself is so high and you don't see yourself for what you really are. So you are prideful. Believing that people should cater to you as if you are some type of God. Like you are not really concerned about other people. You are concerned about only or pretty much how people are treating you. Like you are first in your life. Everything, you come first in everything or try to make yourself first. You are not humble. Let's look up the word humble. Having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. So as you can see here, humble and proud or opposite. <laughs> so you don't want to be proud or prideful. What you want to be is humble. Okay. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud. So if you are prideful, as you can see here, this is saying God is coming against you. Kevin, why are these bad things happening to me in this life? Well, you have to ask yourself, are you prideful? If you are, <laughs> here is your answer. So this is saying God is against the proud, the prideful, and against people in sin. So think about it. What can you do if God is against you? What can you do? What can you say? How can you get out of your troubles if God, the creator of all, is against you. You can't do anything. You are only going to fail if you continue to disobey God. So this is saying God is against the proud. Okay, but giveth more grace, hmm, but giveth grace unto the humble. So if you want mercy from God, if you want grace from God, what this is saying, you have to be more humble. You have to be more compassionate. You have to be more understanding. You have to put people 
in your life first, then you, if that makes any sense. So first God, then other people, then yourself. So try to place yourself last. So worry about your needs last. Worry about what you can do for people, what you can do for God, not yourself. So if you want more grace in life, if you want more mercy in life, be humble. Place yourself last. Think of your needs last. When you show people mercy, mercy is going to come back to you. If you think about self all the time, curses are coming your way. Please listen. Let me stop here. God bless you.